please take it ahead. I'll, uh, you know, take a snapshot and I will go on mute. Do you want me to stay back if there is any internet issue or you want me to log up? I'm okay. If you want to, yeah, we can, in. we can, yeah, we can, we can continue from here. Okay. Okay, please continue. Thanks. Thank you. Um, hi, um, Kronau, you wanna, you wanna go first? Introduce yourself, or? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, Sorry, so I just got I... pulled into this interview, and uh, I don't, I don't really have a lot of context. So. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, same, same here actually. <laughs> Gagan uh, asked me to join, and yeah, I'm here. Okay, so hi Krishna, how are you? How yeah, was your day? Yes, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How are you? Yeah, my day is very good today. Good, good. So, so uh, yeah, we'll. So I'm from McAfee, and I've been working with quite some time here now, and. Uh, I'm currently working with Ray and other team members, uh, uh, Gagan, uh, on uh, McAfee uh, UI. Where, if you, have you ever used McAfee in your desktop? Coffee, I just hear. Uh, yeah, I hear that one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, we, uh, all of us, uh, contribute towards the McAfee. Uh, UI where you see all the features around antivirus and uh, uh, VPN, all the uh, main main features. Okay. Ray has contributed a lot of to it. Okay. Uh, yeah. One second. Uh, so, uh, what I yeah, so I have about like seven plus years of experience in the industry. I've been working with McAfee quite some time now. We are uh, currently uh, uh, using text tech related to React, JavaScript, uh, then a little bit of uh, our mock servers is Node.js and HTML, CSS, all those things. And yeah, we have a quite complex project and we are also looking for someone who can join us and uh, uh, also contribute towards the same goal that we are doing so yeah that's uh, all about me Ray, do you want to go next sure yeah <clears throat> um, my name is ray i uh, am a senior uh, front end developer here at mcafee um as like Cornell already introduced like the tech stack and also the production that we're working on right so um just so you know if you go to like a best buy or any of the you know mall right and buy the mcafee product that is the product that we're working on which is the flagship product called uh, windows protection services or wps that's the you know, the important product, I would say, in McAfee. So you are actually landed on the right uh, team because everything we do um, like uh, will impact about 45 million users global-wise for across 17 different languages, right? So that's like right there, it's already a lot of the, the impact to the real world, right? Which like I really like to highlight that during our interviews. Um, um, I have been working for about three years now. Yeah, give me a ticket. Yeah, about three years now. Um, all I have here, like my personal experience, I mean, other than the uh, uh, the tools and background and uh, the product information that he already provided. Um, one thing I really want to call out is like, I really like the collaboration with the team members, uh, not just our team, but cross-functional teams when we are doing projects, uh, we're pivoting really quickly uh, when there is uh, uh, like something we need to do to change for our product, right? And okay. to uh, best fulfill our clients' needs, right? That's one thing that will distinguish between us and other like bigger companies, like, uh, you know, big tech companies per se. Okay. So uh, that's actually the, the things that I enjoy at McAfee, I just thought I should uh, share with you. Um, 
we in terms of our team we have like um development team here like for back end and front end for back end like well i say back end ish but uh wps product it's uh consists of like a ui layer and uh, some of the other modules which are mainly written in c plus uh, plus which are like integrate like very tightly with the windows operating system right they can interact with the lower level like the OS uh, APIs, which it's active for like an antivirus uh, system or security software. Um, and we interact with that, like the, we by meaning the UI layer, we interact with that. We also call the uh, some of the like the, um, the Node.js like web services. Um, and uh, yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Um, for the UI part, we have about like six or seven people across, or maybe now it's like four or five people uh, in Canada and as well as in uh, India, uh, in Bangalore. Uh, we have the uh, backend services, like part of, I think the C++ people are all here, but we do have another, like six or seven or even more uh, QA folks. Uh, part of them are sitting here in Waterloo office. Some of them are in India, Bangalore. Okay. Um, so if you're close to Bangalore office, you will be able to like see them and collaborate with them uh, if if you ever go to the office. Yes. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Uh, um, so show show you get it started uh, and then let's uh, uh, Krishna, like uh, Krishna, 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 Krishna. I, I'm so sorry. I put on your name. So, so not a, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah, Krishna. Why don't you uh, start like introduce yourself to Krishna and myself, and yes. then we can interact the questions along the way, and then after that we can have a some standard uh, interview questions. There will be a test for 30 minutes for the inter for one like a problem solving, like a writing the code. Okay. And during that, we will require you to share your screen, and then we can uh, we can go from there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Coming to myself. Right. Sorry, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, sorry, sorry. Just uh, after that, we have some like pretty standard questions that we ask everybody. It's like a quick questions. Mm -hmm. For the understanding of JavaScript as well as the um, uh, React, and then after that, towards the end, uh, you will have some time. Uh, we'll turn the table around, and you can ask any questions that you may have. Sounds good. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Okay, go for it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coming to myself. Uh, this is Krishna. I have around four weeks of experience as complete as a web developer. And coming to my skills, I have the skills HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, Bootstrap, uh, React, and Angular, a little bit of Node. So mostly I work in the React only. So my relevant experience is React is around three years of experience. Uh, and uh, in HTML, CSS, JavaScript is around four years as completely. And uh, so in Angular, a little bit, I have one, one plus years of experience. Um, so now they have some basic knowledge. Uh, this is my skill set and experience. And uh, coming to my previous project, I worked with, uh, I worked with three, uh, three, four main projects. So like some health domain projects, some retail domain projects, some banking sector. So this type of projects I then. So coming to the, my previous project is like a health project. Health product that is like a CVS Health. So there is the client name is CVS Health. So they have their own product. So that product is uh, anyone can any hospital can use that product. So using that products, they can manage all the hospital functionalities like patients, drugs, stream, uh, so many features are there. So coming to the as a roles and responsibility, I am one of the UA developer. So handling the all the UA tasks like uh, template template systems and the CS changes and uh, components creations, modules creations, AP integrations. So all these functionalities we have. So in this project, I, I manage. So I can manage the third party libraries like Bootstrap, uh, Material UA, MUA. So these things also. Um, so now also, uh, we follow the Agile methodology. Uh, and that, uh, so in the, as part of the Agile methodology, the sprint time duration is uh, around three weeks. And, um, and also I experience in the Git repository system. 
so so this is the my overall experience and skill set all those things yeah thank you yeah thank you Ikra, now you want to ask any questions um uh, i will want to start with a quick problem do you want to okay so, sorry i mean i mean the the, the resonate questions no, I'm I'm good. I'm good. You, if you want to go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um. So um. So maybe tell us a little bit more about the the house uh, product, the CBS, right? The product that you have been working on. You yes, worked yes. That, on yeah. that for like two years or so, right? So, uh, like a year and eight months, right? Yeah. Sure. Sure. So uh, maybe tell us about um, um, what kind of problem it's trying to resolve. And uh, also tell us about a little bit about your team, like uh, the team size and how many UI developers, how many like, you know, QA and so on and so forth, right? And uh, what is the role you have in that? And what is your typical day look like? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, so the start looking at the project, that's, uh, the pro that's, that product is already existing. That is an existing product. So I, I joined as a mm -hmm. developer. So in the tech team, okay. already we have the team members, so in the offshore team and onsite team. So onsite team, they have mm -hmm. more than 20 members, and offshore we have the nearly six members in the offshore, uh, along with the uh, six six along, uh, out of six, uh, three are the UA developers. Main three are the UA developers, uh, two are backend developers, and we have the product manager mm -hmm. and testing team, all the QA people there. So when I while I joined this project, the product has uh, some basic features. So any hospital can use that one. So while I'm joining, so we have we have been in the pandemic situation, you know, right? So at the pandemic situation, they they enhance the product. So they introduce the new features like uh, so uh, any patient can online appointments. So at that at the time of pandemic situation, they want the online appointment booking system. So that feature is not there. So what happens? So we we implement that feature. So at the front end side, uh, we have to want to implement. So I, I need to integrate the, the third party API. So for the uh, this is like a, the the for the online video systems, we have the one lab like a big blue button. Uh, some third party lab they will provide the video. So so before integrating that to third party one, so we need to verify the window or some more the things is uh, that product is um, uh, safe they are not. So before integrating the UA, what are the things, what are the API we need to call, so what are the things we need to do. So once integrated, so using that future, so any patient can uh, choose the appointments, choose the doctor time slot. So at the time, once the doctor approved uh, the time slot, so next day, at the other time, the video session is open. So all the front end part mm -hmm. I handle. So, uh, so at the time of the projects also, so me, we, 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 when, we, when any task, as we, we, we divide the task. So mostly, mostly I work on the future, on the future, uh, along with the bugs fixes, I work on the future also. Uh, so daily we need to integrate with the onset people. So what, uh, so onset people, um, uh, before starting the agile methodology, so the scrum master, uh, we, they will explain the, we have the, some grooming session before starting the future. So we need to estimate so what are the key card points, how much card story points we need to give and choose. So the discussion is going on before any requirement coming. So after grooming session, uh, once the sprint start, we divide the task. So this is a part of the agile methodology. So as a part of the technology fight, so before integrating the API, any any third part library, we identify what are the door breaks, what are the challenges we are facing, we fixing. Uh, so uh, I can say one of the um, one of the thing uh, what I fix in my career like um, uh, for example uh, we already implement on future we already implement on future that is the, the future has the showing the records of the data transaction data something like so uh, we implemented all is working fine so once we implemented uh, after something or three months four months of time so data is increased so we got the more than thousand uh, ten thousand records. Okay, more than 10,000 records, and they want that to use us only in a single page, not a pagination also. So what happened is, uh, if the 10,000 records are increasing, the page was the page becomes slow. So why we we do the on this? We did the why this? So we identify that there is a concept like uh, event bubbling capture, uh, 
uh, for every row for every cell they have the they handle we write one event so overall 10,000 because 10,000 events are happening that's why the page becomes slow so we identify the solution we, we do the the common event for the that one even even capture concept we handling so this type of things are implemented and um, uh, this have mm. challenges with facing uh, fixing fixing type of bugs so this is the uh, and coming to the product that products mainly mainly the in the pandemic situation they use the, the online booking appointments very much so in the short in the short period of them we implement the future so we got any bug fixes in the short period and we fixing that bugs as all other things yeah okay um so back to this uh like um the the traffic like a scalability issue right what what was you who did, uh, found this issue or like was you who um you know provide the solution on it how did you fix this problem and did you do any like a poc or like how how would you communicate with the business so uh, or the architecture architect sorry I mean, before starting in the future, right? before implementing any future, right? So before implementing in, yeah, before implementing any future, uh, so while we all this we are discussing the grooming session. So in the grooming session, before going to the grooming session, so we take that uh, store we call that card, we we can discuss with the architect and we can we can find. So what are the uh, for example, if you if you want to implement something, that future we are we are using any other pages. Uh, we are repeatedly we can use that future if we are repeatedly using the future we need to use a like a library we need to make as a component so this type of things uh, so and all the throughout the applications we need to maintain the common ui for example i want to make a table instead of the writing the all the table all the things we, we create one th thought byte library so this type of initial discussion happen and before the implement anything in the future also so we from the starting to end point from user inputs to database all the things for example if you want to use inputs what type of the validations how much user can enter the how much what is the length what is the validation what are the front end validations right. what are the back end validations all those things we can discuss we'll discuss got it got it so usually you guys figure it out during your grooming session Yes. Um, it, do you have like an uh, architect who makes the technical decisions, or is that you who make the decisions? Uh, we, uh, uh, the architect and uh, the project manager, we do internal discussion. So from our point, they take the inputs. Mm -hmm. So we give the inputs. Right. So final decisions they take. Okay. They take, and they are they uh, convey the same thing to the business product product owner. So you can, yeah. Fine. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any questions um, regarding the resume. So, Kunal, like, would you like to um, host the the, uh, the coding part? Uh, sure. I have a I have one. But before yeah, I mean, like, I... if you if you have it in handy. Um, so, yeah. uh, sure. But before that, what I want to do is I want to share with you, Krishna, one. Uh, what I can say, but sh shared code coding uh, platform where we can also see like what you are typing as well as we'll be able to take a backup as well. I'm pasting a link okay. here in okay. the chat. And if you can open this and share your screen, it would be great. Yeah, let me open and sharing the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, you should also be able to open this link if you want. But yeah, yeah, sure. I I will just uh, yeah. I I I only have a one screen right now. I'm yeah, I got you. My screen. So, I'll see. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So Go I already it. have set it up as uh, JavaScript. So uh, so this will not be able to run the program, but uh, we just be able to right and uh, we'll be able we'll go through the program one by one line by line and see like uh, it will run or not but basically what i want to uh, set as a context is uh, so uh, we'll give you a program you uh, you will write uh, whatever 
uh, comes to your mind maybe and later so be, uh, what i want from you is uh, we'll be seeing your coding practices how you write the code how you declare variables how you uh, create functions all these details as well as the logic part so uh, okay so via this we'll be able to understand uh, what are your uh, co what are your uh, daily practices do around the code so let me just share oh. the problem in the chat okay uh, and we'll go from there okay so if you can move to the code share okay yeah okay i'm just writing there so what i want to do is this just a simple program where i want to create a dictionary where i want to uh, have functions like uh, add to dictionary then uh, get the meaning from that dictionary so here uh, probably you will have to create a data structure as well so basically uh, the, with the, these two functions uh, you will be adding to that data structure and uh, getting back that value from the data structure and once you do that we'll be also uh, uh, be trying to improve on this whatever you write and uh, uh, before writing if you can uh, provide some test cases around what how you will writing the these two functions let's say add to dictionary and the get mining then it would be really great really great and yeah if you have any questions right now before starting the problem let me know so other for, than that you can start so for this add to directory function you need to pass two arguments why is the second argument so first argument if yeah so yeah so for example uh, every dictionary if you have uh, taken a look at a dictionary every dictionary has a uh, meaning and the word so let's yeah. say you are uh, searching for share in in the dictionary so it will uh, also have a entire meaning uh, as a string that uh, let's say sharing means uh, giving it to someone something like that so this is i'm uh, by meaning it it can be a string the word also can be a string or number it depends on you so this is what i mean by meaning and word okay yeah got it yeah yeah uh, and also i want you to write in javascript yeah, yeah sure. too. Okay. So if I may uh, give some suggestions, first of all, we'll be, sure. you know, asking questions. Um, if you have any, right, like, well, while okay. two of us are here, like, feel free to leverage us, like, as much as you can, right? Um, we, the, 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 um, the goal for the coding challenge so. will be um, is to see how you think and how you write things. Okay, and yeah. we're here to help you. Yeah, so right? uh, if yeah. You're, uh, we, yeah. the other thing is please like just walk us through how you thought, like your thoughts, right? Don't just like, you know, side in your writing the code, right? Try to walk us through like your thoughts, your, um, we will be asking questions and we'll guide you through, okay? Okay, so, so as for, so for example, so we, if you want to get the uh, meaning of the word, I will call it this function. Uh, so if the if the meaning is already there in the dictionary, we can uh, we can take the meaning of that word. If not, then what I want to return? No, it's not available. I mean, return any uh, sample text. Maybe the meaning is not available yet. Okay, then uh, hmm. I can. So I can. So then in that case, if success is the two cases. One is success case, one is failure case. That means if already message exists, we can you can give the uh, like uh, success and uh, the meaning. If the word is not exists, we can give the error and the word is not available. So we can take the two cases. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
uh, okay and any those so what your is not there and uh, when will you when when you add meaning to uh, add to directly i we sorry uh, can you repeat the question so uh, so this add to dictionary so uh, for example if the, if the, uh, when you will add the word to the dictionary if you have the word and you have the meaning so we were adding to the dictionary right so all those all those words. yes okay. yeah so basically what i want to do is uh, i want to have so let's say i have a blank book right now okay. where i want to write uh, the word and meanings so uh, and we'll be able to search uh, me meaning for a particular word if oh and only it is available inside the book right okay. because and so right now we'll be adding it manually with add to my dictionary function and it's not uh, we don't want an auto any automatic way to add to dictionary but yeah it, let's do it in a manual way so okay. let's say you want to add three words you should be calling it three times for now yeah okay uh, okay I will do. I have one is one one case. Uh, so if the word is not sure. available, uh, if the word is not available. So uh, what I'm trying to what I'm to, let's uh, let's uh, let's assume there's one APA which has the uh, get the meaning of that word. Okay. So already we are, we already take the all the words from the APA and add it to the dictionary. Okay. Now I'm going to search the meaning of a particular word. Now first we will check in our dictionary. If not in dictionary, again I will try to search the APA. If, uh, if the word is existing, then I will try to add dictionary. Is it fine? That, that's fine. Yeah, I, I'm fine with that. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're currently. So what? So let's first start with add to dictionary yeah, function, yeah, yeah, and sure. then later we'll go about how we can. Uh, search from the dictionary with get meaning and later if you want to like uh, get data from an api you are that you are saying yeah uh, and to populate the dictionary uh, as a start i mean i'm i'm good with that as well yeah. That's fine. okay mm -hmm. yeah sure Uh, I don't mind uh, keeping them as word one, word two, word mean, meaning two if you want, but it depends on you. Mm, okay, I will, yeah. Mm. yeah.
okay okay perfect do you want to uh, one more time go through and see if you uh, i mean just for just to make sure everything will, will work fine before we run this mm, yeah well let's start Awesome. You can close then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. yeah okay yes oh uh, so before we go to the uh i mean be before we go and run this i just have a few questions related to javascript okay. that is also also that you have used already um so you have used on the 18th line filter function yeah uh, so i just want to know like what does filter function and is there anything else that we have uh, in JavaScript that can act or uh, uh, act like filter function kind of uh, with searches into an array or an object uh, to get something that we want? I want and uh, I, I mean kind of those functions and want to understand them and why you have used just filter here instead of them. So we have some array methods like a filter, map, for each, um, find some. So these methods are there. If you want to know, if you want to know only if the word existing or not, then you can, I can use either find or some function. But here I want to know the, the word existing or not, and at the same time I want to get the meaning of that word. So that means I need to filter the words. So if there is other methods like math, um, uh, for each and um, map. So for each map also we can mm -hmm. do in this using the for each map also we can do, but the purpose is different. The purpose of the for each and map is um, the for each if you want to do something for every element uh, by iterations or for every element of the array, then I use the for each. If you want to do some mm -hmm. something for every element of the array, I want to return the new array, then I use the map. Uh, Okay. And so, so, but so I can uh, find and find and some means to get the uh, find give the if the uh, it is a it is an example find I think instead of the filter I can use the find I think otherwise some uh, why I use the filter and find find give the only one word okay I can I think it's the if the same word I think it is there is something mistake is I can use the find better than the filter. If the, if the same word has different meanings, if two times of the same word, then I can use the filter. But if you want to only one word, right, this is the, then this is the filter I can use the find. Yeah. Okay. So you mentioned that test case where uh, you are saying that we can have two words with uh, different meanings, correct? I mean, let's say beautiful yeah, yeah. and beautiful uh, yeah, is, beauty, yeah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. isn't the uh, in the dictionary two times with different meanings then and that, then i can use since, the filter since yeah. yeah 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 i understand but uh, so do we not want to avoid that in in the add to dictionary because yeah yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. right yes yes yeah, got it
Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, but just uh, just to make sure again, do you want to go through again and make sure we don't have any errors before we run this? Um, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah. Can you open the uh, browser console and uh, in and paste the entire thing into it? Can I you can I open JS fiddle? There is a I can check, right? That's fine. Yeah, okay. You can use JS fiddle. Yeah, okay. So uh, let's say let's I let's say I want to search in. Okay. There is no word unless uh, there is no word good in that one. Okay, I okay. want to I want to search that one. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Sorry, let's see. Wait, fifty-seven forty-six. Sir. Okay. Here. Okay. Uh, can I just can I just this one? Can I fix? Sure. sure. Okay. Do you, do you think it's fixed or? Mm, no, just something I'm missing. Okay, 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 got it, got it, sorry. Here I, I, uh... Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, I am not conjole, right? And let me conjole, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there is no word good. That's why I got the false. There is no meaning for this word, okay? Let me try the best now, okay? Okay. Um, It is there, okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Spelling mistake, I think. Uh, spelling mistake, where? Right? Just a minute. Okay, okay. It's, okay. Not, it's not giving the array because of find, right? Find is not giving the array. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you might want to correct the typo on 17 line. Yeah, the yeah, meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. The other question I yeah. got into mind is, okay. uh, let's say why on on fourteenth line, so you know that uh, the word is always going to be string, right? And the get meaning will always 
going to get string as well yeah. uh, as an argument. Yeah. And why did you use double equal instead of triple equal? And okay, yeah. Uh, so if we if we want type check also, then it okay, must be it was the uh, triple equal to yeah. Correct. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So if we was the number something, yeah, then you can yeah to check. Yeah. Okay, and now we will go ahead and see like if we can improve the performance of the functions. But before that, uh, Ray, do you have any questions in between? Um, sure. Yeah, just one question. So you have a key value pairs, right, or dictionaries, right? The the uh, both the key and the values are like a string, right? Um. So I'm just wondering, I'm just curious, like when you do get meaning, you decided to return as an object. Um, what are the thoughts there? Nothing right or wrong. I, I just want to know the reason. Then I can use the type. Uh, there is a one key, other key I can use like type. So okay. like uh, the type is, is an adjective, is a, a phrase I can, I, can, I can give. So if you want to, what the type of okay. word also, you can get that one. Okay. Um, so, like, can we, like, is it possible to simplify it? Just return something else, like a null for not finding, right? To replace your is available and then just return the simple string as the results. Because usually it's like get meaning, right? I'm expecting to get the meaning itself, not get a object right do you think that's a fair suggestion yeah uh, because why is i prefer the object i want to the, if the failure case uh, i want to return mm -hmm. the sentence there is no meaning for this word right uh, right yeah so my my question is like if i return on null wouldn't that serve the same purpose Or it's just like a uh, parent. Uh, hello. Yeah, because 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 it's like okay. So to me, it's like because your meaning is a string, right? So get a meaning to me. Like when I interpret it, I usually just interpret it as a string, simple string that return. If it's not found, right? Okay, okay. Then it usually it's like a null or undefined, right? Um, yeah, we can find. Uh, yeah, I understand what you are telling this. So, um, right. so what you are telling is uh, return simply meaning. Otherwise, return false. Uh, well, I wouldn't return false. I'll return probably something like a no, right? Because no is basically like I don't find anything. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, we can find like that. But um, uh, that also is like meaning. That's why I can use that none. We were talking about like this, right? Or null. We were talking about null, right? I was suggesting no, but uh, you know, it's it's up to you, right? Like it's as as long as that's well understood, like uh, what it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Then, yeah. Yeah, you are right. So if, yeah. if you, instead of this uh, total, this you can use the null. So uh, that means uh, the the function th return type must be one type, either it's an object or return. So if it is, for example, the return type is the object, so that is this right. um, return null and return on object. Like uh, even though these variable also are like this. So return null means it's returning the object, but there is no object, there is no data. Yeah, it's fine, right? Right, but what what what's wrong of returning just a string value of it, right, rather than an object? Because object is more expensive, right? Yeah. Compared to a string value, because your 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 So if, for example, right? if if you return the only meaning, so in this case, yeah. it's returning the string type. But in this That's case, right. it's returning the object type. So in right. the so the so same function is in the two different types. Okay, and that is a problem because yeah, if you want to maintain the consistency, then both must be return type must be same uh, same type. 
so actually in the type script we have in the angular like type script we here you can write the what are the return value so here we can do either right. string you can give the either string or I, we can give like um, a null you can give like this right yeah so we can give can you one. return like an either yeah can you either. return either one yeah okay yeah okay okay and right. so coming to little bit to um, performance i can do one thing here what i will do is Okay. Okay, got it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. This thing I can do. Yeah, but since so let me go through your program once. Let's say so from the seventh line, uh, that to dictionary, what it will stood so dot sum will all also have the for loop inside it. It is not sure about the actual order of n but it is yeah definitely yeah order of n itself uh for loop is that but what i want to do is i want to just do just just think about it i just want to add a meaning to a word into my dictionary mm -hmm. and it is taking me like x amount of time mm -hmm which which should be much lesser than that i mean i do, do not want to go through an entire dictionary let's say the my dictionary has around like 10000 words so what it will do is it will go through the 10000 words and once it has gone through 10000 one then it will not find and then it will add correct okay yeah so it's it it will become so expensive to have this uh, uh, for loop on the eighth line, then, as well as as well as on the fourteenth line of the find function. So let's say same thing. Let's say our dictionary grows uh, about to become really large, around one lakh words. What you will do then? It will take time to I even will, get will, a simple word like yeah i will take one century. okay It has a best solution, but uh, I can do. Mm, mm. And just wanted to reiterate on you are the you are the uh, only decision maker for this entire program, correct? So you can make any changes to any of the parts other than the problem which which I written in the comments. Uh, yeah, you can change anything in, in the entire program to make sure it's fast. Okay. okay. Uh, I. Uh, okay, uh, so here what I try to find my solution is so as far as you said if I give the word instead of the founding the all the 10,000 words first I will check the the given word first letter the what are the words starting with that first letter in the dictionary I only bring those words in this in this was one I will test is it good is it good approach um, what do you think now, for example, I want uh, searching with the uh, I want uh, searching the best. 
so that means first of what i will do what is the first letter of the this this word b and also mm -hmm. also in this area in this area i'm i take the words only which are starting with the b letter only in this words okay. i will search okay it, it is, yeah it will again go through right the entire 10000 item correct yeah. or not okay so let's not put mm. more time into this we okay. are nearing yeah. to the end okay. so i also want to go through with you the react part okay so so my favorite questions in react is like uh, do you know about react hooks uh, what are they and why do we use it uh, and uh, and give me some examples with some of the react hooks that you use daily okay maybe so uh, initially in the react we are write in the class based components uh, from the section point of the version we are trying to write in the functional components so in the, if you want to write the functional components, what are the functionalities we are available in the class components, we need to achieve them. So that's why they introduce the concept of the hooks in the functional concept. So who, what the meaning of hook means set of functionality to, to get the to get the set of the functionality. So to to get the set of the function uh, some functionalities of the class components into the functional components also, they introduce the called the hooks. You know, some of the hooks what I use in the React daily daily purpose like main first one is the use state. Use state. Use state means the class based components all data in the data will remain in the state objects. The state objects and if you want to change the data, we cannot change the, do the, the we cannot do the directly. We can use the set state function methods in the class components. Same type of functionality we want to achieve in the functional components. I use the hook use state. So use state hook. So use state hook you will give the what is the the state name, what is the set state name. So if you want to use the data in the component level, I use these states. So use state hook if you want to make the states in the uh, functional component, use the use state hook. And one more big best best hook is use effect. So use effect is a major hook nowadays uh, not major hook which is cover the whole function of the class mainly because mainly in the class based components we have the life cycle methods in the class based components those are the major part of the, the component life cycle so but the functional components we don't have so to achieve the to uh, the most to achieve the, the life cycle component of the component life cycle in the functional components also uh, we use the use effect so use it effective hooks has the uh, we have the uh, four types uh, so if you use the use effect or the it has it takes the two arguments one is the arrow function one is the uh, second argument the arrow array the first the first arrow arrow function what i want to do so for example if you want to do something only the first page page load i only the first time component render then i use the use state hook which sorry use effect hook uh, arrow function and the second argument is the empty array if you want to do, if you want to do something for every rendering of the page every for every re-rendering of the page then i i did not give any second argument only get the first argument the arrow function what i want to do for every page render if you want to do something only if you want to update some uh, some state some prompts if you want to some state or if you want to update some then only if you want to do something uh, then I use a use effect hook as function uh, second argument as the dependence. So when only the dependency updated, then only we this functional is called. Uh, so it's same like as the in the component life cycle, like uh, component mounting, component updating, and we has a component unmounting, uh, an unmounting stage. So if you want to move it from the component, if you want to achieve the same thing in the functional components, in the use effect hook, in the arrow function, I use the return, return, return value. Return, return functionality. So, so this is the way we achieve the use effect. So apart from this use of state and use effect, I use a, sorry, we have sorry, the, uh, yeah, yeah. sorry for the interruption. You yeah. were talking about the return statement in inside the uh, use effect hook. Can you please yeah. explain more of what, first of all, what it does? And second, what is the best use case for that? Just give us some examples. Yeah, let's say for example, I have filled the form. I have the filled the forms. Okay, I filled the forms. 
uh, I want to move out the component. Okay, uh, I want to clear that form before moving the moving out the component. I want to clear the form. So then I can I can do I can use that the test statement. At the same time, uh, we do we are doing some subscriptions. Already we get that data. Uh, for example, I have the, some data. Let all the state values are we set the statement. So before leaving out the component, I need to clear the those state values also. Any subscriptions are there? I need to unclear unsubscription. So this is the use cases different. So this is the use effect, and I use the use ref. Use ref is if I want to handle particular DOM element, I use the use ref hook. Um, and one more best thing we have hooks are use memo and use callback. So to to optimizing that the performance in the React application, this use memo and use callback are the useful. Uh, for example, uh, uh, use memo is same as the like. Um, for example, I have a function. Let's say I have the function JavaScript. Uh, I have some function and some function I passing the two comma three. I'm getting the return value five. Again, if I passing the two comma three, instead of doing again functionality, what it will do is, it will catch the return value. So based on the inputs, the output will catch it. If second time, if I pass the same inputs, instead of the running the functionality, it take the value from the catch. That is for the use memo. And also to stop the re-renderings of the child components. Unnecessarily, I can use a react that memo, uh, and also use callback also. Use callback also. So one callback function, if you want to do, if you want to callback function whenever we want, then I use use callback things. So this type of hooks I can use. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Okay. Uh, do you have any other questions for? Yeah, um, we're two minutes over, so I would uh, I would like to uh, have uh, Krishna give us some questions he might have. Uh, for if you are if you don't have further questions, Kona. Yeah, no, I don't have any other questions. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Krishna. Yeah, uh, so everything is fine. Uh, so if I select it, so I need to work on more on the React project, uh, reacting site, right? that's at the website, you know, in our project. Yeah, that's 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 right. Um, our application is quite a, a big application, and uh, it's actually application suite. It contains multiple like applications, right? So for example, like a firewall for AD scan, for um, you know, like uh, we recently, Kunal and I are working on a project which we are adding the AI piece to it, uh, which can detect a fake, uh, like a deep fake audio, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so I would uh, imagine like you know you will come here and you will uh, work on like a React uh, related, uh, like yeah, just just work ex exclusively with React. We used to have some Angular JS uh, code. But uh, we have already uh, retired them along the way. Yeah, so React for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it from my end. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for uh, taking your time to meet with us. Uh, we will uh, like send our like uh, feedback, give our feedback to the recruiter that you're working with, as well as our managers. We will. You will be hearing from them directly. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, and thanks All for right. your time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 For now, can I call you back? Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I'll call. You. Mm -hmm.